the new seven black history special, Black Slaves, Red Masters. Hello everyone, I'm Sam Ford. Earlier this month in our seven inside reports, I took a personal journey to look at a largely unknown chapter of black history when my ancestors and thousands of other blacks were slaves, not of the whites, but of the Indians. Well, a lot of people responded who missed some of the segments and who wanted to know more about the subject. So today you'll see it all and more and get your pencils. At the end we'll have not a test, but an address and phone number where you can get more information. <laughs> Every summer at Tahlequah, Oklahoma, the Cherokee Indians sponsor their Trail of Tears pageant, the story of how the U.S. government robbed the so-called five civilized tribes of their homelands in the South and moved them by force to Oklahoma. They don't tell about the thousands of blacks the tribes brought with them, their slaves. My mammy and pappy belong to a part Cherokee named W.P. Thompson when I was born. The woman reading is my sister, Elaine Ford Staten, but the words are those of our great-grandmother, Phyllis Thompson Pettit, whose Georgia-born parents were brought by the Cherokees over the trail. The story was told by their great-grandmother. As you see, let me rewind it. She African. Cherokees over the trail. Johnson Thompson was Phyllis. And she told the story because she was part. Once you became a Cherokee slave, you became part of their culture. And just like what we took the white slave master's name, they took the Cherokee's name. In culture, not by blood. You get it? So this woman, more than likely, told her daughter... She was a Native American, and her daughter told her daughter she was Native American, or, or, or told them that she was Cherokee. And that's where the falsehood comes in at. The slaves didn't know who they were, in a sense. Cherokees weren't enslaving themselves. They were enslaving the West African who came over here on boats. Let's continue. Phyllis's brother. Before that, Pappy had been owned by three different masters. One was the rich Joe Van, who lived down at Weber's Fall, and another was Chief Lowry of uh, the Cherokee. My cousin, Maurice Shepard, reading the words of his great grandfather. The interviews were conducted 52 years ago here at Fort Gibson, Oklahoma, when both my great grandmother, Phyllis Pettit, and her brother, Johnson Thompson, were in their 80s part of a federal writer's project. Now, both of them are buried in this cemetery. But after I read their words, I was set on a mission to find out how my family became slaves of the Indians. I learned that beginning with the administration... A lot of families became slaves of Indians. A lot of families merged into Native American Indian culture. The mix-up happens. They begin to think that they are what their master is. Their master knew the difference between his own family and West Africans as slaves. The Cherokee masters did not enslave themselves. Hello. Administration of George Washington, it was the policy of the U.S. government to civilize the Indians by teaching them modern farming techniques. To adopt agricultural practices that uh, patterned uh, after the whites, and one of those in the South was slave trade. I don't ever talk about it very much because I think it's a very shameful part of, um, of Cherokee history, and so I've purposely avoided involving myself in that, um, in that whole issue. While the current chief may be ashamed, at the Cherokee Museum today are slave bills of sale, including one for three slaves bought in 1841 by then-principal chief John Ross. The chief and his brother Lewis... Who were these slaves that the Cherokees bought? They were West Africans who came by boat. Stop claiming Cherokee ancestry. Stop claiming any of the five civilized tribes. Actually, there were about 500 tribes, and why are y'all stuck on the five? 
I'll tell you why you stuck on the five. Because the five was fucking with you. Let's go. Were among the biggest slaveholders in the tribe. Indeed, many of my mother, Kathleen's ancestors, the Rosses, were owned by the chief's family. They were Southerners. They uh, adopted Southern institutions, Southern dress, Southern uh, black slavery. But one characteristic they did not like was Southern greed for their land. By 1830, through wars and treaties, the five tribes had lost most of it. Then they were all ordered to move west to Oklahoma. Four of the tribes left, but the Cherokees took their case to the U.S. Supreme Court and won. At least they won the lawsuit. Then the man on the $20 bill stepped in. When President uh, Jackson essentially told the, uh, the uh, Supreme Court, uh, uh, you know, you made your ruling in favor of the Cherokees, now, you know, try to enforce it. As president, Andrew Jackson controlled the army, so 14,000 Cherokees and 1,600 slaves were herded to Oklahoma. 1,600 slaves. 1,600 slaves were herded by the Cherokee. Look at the drawings. Look at this white man. Or Cherokee, whatever he is. And look at these black folk. Oh my. Some groups in women, with about a quarter of the Indians and blacks dying along the way. Work, raising cotton, building the new nations. The Merrill home, which still stands outside Tahlequah, Oklahoma, was built by the Cherokee's black slaves. And should you think the Indians were much kinder masters than the whites, listen to Granny Phyllis's words in the inner... Granny Phyllis... The granny, that's my ancestor. She's a West African. And she was a slave. Them Cherokees treated her badly. Listen. You about my great grandfather. My husband was George Pettit. He told me his mammy was sold away from him when he was a little boy. He looked down a long lane after her just as long as he could see her and cried after her. He went down to the big road and sat down by his mammy's barefoot tracks in the sand and sat there until it got dark. And then he come on back to the quarters. Oklahomans reenacting the Civil War battle of Honey Springs. When it actually occurred, this would- I, I, Do I even have to go any further? Cause I mean, um. There's documentaries everywhere. Okay? How are you guys confused about what you are? You are an African people. And people can get mad at me all they want for telling the truth. If you're mad at me for telling this truth, and I've been backing it up all week, you mad at me for practicing my yacht? Truth? Justice? Justice. The Native American was slaughtered. I feel for them. I don't care if you guys don't. I have compassion. I don't like people, they're being, they killed in genocide. Then later on in life, you got African Americans chopping up and disrespecting and misrepresenting their history. That's white man shit. I know you niggas is confused. And want to hold on to something. Make yourself seem better um, than an African. When an African was already great. Just because an African went through trials and tribulation. And you have a shame about it. And you want to try to pull in something else to connect to. Oh we wasn't just that. We was the Native American too. No you wasn't the Native American. God damn it. I've been proving that all week. This is the knowledge of self I'm giving you. I'm letting you know who you are. Garvey would be disappointed in all y'all, all these youth, and everybody talking about they not African. Groups like Africans ain't Af African Americans ain't African. And all this dumb shit. You guys see the virus, but you're silent. You're silent because deep down inside, you're still lightweight Christians. And you don't want to be an African. 
You want to stick to falsehoods and belief. And check this out. It is nothing wrong with people correcting some of our scholars. I love Ivan Van Sertema. I fell asleep listening to his lectures. Okay? For years. He was just simply wrong about three major points. And those three major points was major. It turned upside down. People full, blo full blown going to be Africans. And they wanted to side with something else. It was a destructive. Okay? It was destructive. He meant no harm. He was just wrong a little bit and he went off features and phenotype because the genome wasn't mapped in the 70s when he wrote that book. And it's okay. I love Biden Van Sertema. And he was right about a whole lot of other stuff. But if we practice in my eye, we have to have correct information. If y'all don't want it, fine. Other people do. If you don't want correct information, sign off my page. And don't get it. I'm out.